Hello and welcome to West Country Wanderings. Welcome to one of my Cornwall series. I'm here at the station Redruth in West Cornwall. Got the train here that heads down in the direction of Penzance. I'm going to catch the bus to a place called Alugan Highway, actually close to where I used to live in Calm Bray. And we're going to be looking at the former railway line that once left the West Cornwall line towards Portreath and down an incline. I have covered part of it before, but we're going to have a look to see what remains of that branch line here in Cornwall. So I've moved round now to just outside a place called a Luggan Highway, which is on a kind of a bypass of a bypass, and I'm at the Barn Coos Overbridge over there. You won't see it, but I'll insert a clip now. That's the Cornish Main Line, so that's in the direction of Penzance. That way is the direction of Saltash and Plymouth back over the border of the Tamar. Just down here was a junction called Portreath Junction, and it's where our line of interest came off the Cornish main line and headed towards the sea at Portreath, going down a steep incline. The line opened in 1837 and actually closed in 1930, though the track wasn't lifted until 1945. Anyway, we're going to head a bit further down over in that direction to see what we can see of remains of the Portreath branch line here in Cornwall. So we're looking straight down here at Junction of Roads, Industrial Estate that way, which is also now a bypass, Wilson Way, and straight down there is where our railway line once went alongside the line of the housing on the right of the screen. And now at the site of the Railway Inn, junction of Druids Road here in the Luggan Highway, and uh, well there's a, there's a few things to point out here. First of all, the pub reopened in 2017, but uh, as you can see there, it's now to let and it's closed again. The other thing here is this is where the railway crossed the main road with level crossing, but that sign is what well, it's factually incorrect because it was never a passenger line. But we'll talk more about that as we go on today's video because that's not quite the full story. And we also have a plaque here, railway in, level crossing for the Portreath branch line and the Camborne Redruth tramway. Yes, let's talk about that. So this is the junction of Druids Royal Lane going on to Agar Road. And that direction in front, or well, heading where, well, in the opposite direction to where the cars are going there, is back towards Redruth. And at one time there was a tramway which crossed from Redruth through Pull, making its way to Camborne. That closed in 1927, although the tracks laid down and were still used by the Agar Mine Tramway. We'll talk some more about that as well when it gets a bit quieter away from the main road. 
Now our railway actually went in between the two houses there where you see it says 20 mile an hour zone straight through there. That was our track bed and that's where we're going to continue our journey on now. So this is Wheel Fortune Lane and this is where our railway once went to Portreath. So our railway would have continued through here, through that gate. I don't know if that Cornish hedge there would have been there when the railway was here. And in front of that then you can see some houses which is probably built in the, looking at that in the 1970s. So that uh, was built long after the railway closed here in 1930. So this is actually called Wheel Fortune Park in the parish of Poole and it opened in 1990. So we're going to continue along here as best we can following the old route of the railway. So the route of our railway would have continued down here and obviously the road is rear lined so the road bends around to the right but the railway would have gone straight through that uh, cream coloured house which of course wasn't there when the railway was running. So we've now picked up the line of our railway again once again on this footpath along here which goes alongside the park not that far from Morrison's. Now opposite Broad Lane and the chapel on the junction of Spa Lane there's a little plaque easily missed I just found it covered with ivy and it marks the birthplace of Sir Richard Tangy which I'm sure a lot of you will be familiar with that name and he was born here in 1833 the house that he lived in actually isn't there because there is just pan back. It would have been over there and next to the uh, Sunday School Chapel there, Primitive Methodist Sunday School Chapel there just on the left, built 1890. But uh, yeah, so it was here, this spot here in Elegant, that Sir Richard Tangy was born. So we've caught up with our railway again. And there is the railway embankment. You can make it out very clearly, particularly this time of year with the gorse all out in flower. So that's running down towards the direction of Portreath and the coast. Now what we've got coming up ahead is the most obvious sign that there was once a railway here. Previous to this we've always we've seen things like the <laughs> railway inn and uh, the location of where the turnout was from the main line at Portreath Junction. But this there's a bridge which carries a minor lane underneath the railway to Portreath. things to mention about the Portreath branch line is that there's this question over whether did it or did it not carry passengers. Now it certainly wasn't built for carrying passengers, it was actually built for coal. Coal would come across from South Wales in coal boats and they would park up at, uh, or anchor up shall I say, at Portreath Harbour and then there was tracks there, railway tracks, which took it to the bottom of an incline and the incline was powered by an engine house which was situated at the top of the incline. It was replaced later on, I think at the end of the 19th century and that took it through to when the line was closed in 1930. But yes, yeah, so the incline there I've actually covered on a previous video a little while ago or here on the Cornwall series here on West Country Wandering, I think it was about a couple of years ago, and I'll link to that video which shows you the incline at the end of this video. But yeah, it was as I say, it had a shortish life in that, uh, though it went on for 
just under 100 years, not full length as some lines that were closed in the 1960s had, but uh, it was built as Freight 09. Now the reason that question mark is there is because you could buy a ticket like to transfer some goods, like a parcel and that, and that would give you free carriage with your parcel, and therefore you could actually travel on the line in those open teched carriages, but it wouldn't have been like it was depicted in the railway inside. They wouldn't have carried that many passengers, and certainly not on a regular basis. Just an ad hoc thing, probably for people that lived in and around the pool area that worked in Portreath in the harbour. This is an amazing structure, very strong because of the granite that it has been constructed from. I don't know if the coping stones there on the left are original or not, possibly not, but uh, the granite is certainly original. What a wonderful structure and what a wonderful find this is on the Portreath branch line. Now the other thing to point out that there is a bridge here and the past bridge Fire, uh, access to the an occupation bridge underneath the uh, railway here but it is rather overgrown and there is no access into that field to get a closer shot of it unfortunately. So I'm currently standing on the embankment of the actual track bed itself. That direction down there takes you right down to Portree down the incline into Portree Harbour bottom the Atlantic coast. Got this wonderful gate here which would have been a foot crossing over this branch when it was in use and that way takes you back the other way back and just going on that way but unfortunately there is now a fence in place which prevents you going access in that direction but uh, yeah so this was it this is our Portreath branch line here in Cornwall um, not a, a huge amount to see but certainly you can identify that this was an embankment structure and you've got that section there where you can see the gorse as well. So here we have some rails from the line presumably which I think were put up after the line closed and the track lifted just to put in some fencing to protect the embankment. Yes I'm afraid that's the best that I can do but you can still see clearly the embankment there running across the screen from left to right that bridge underneath it which I think now is used for storing hay for the horse that's in this field. So that there is our railway line running down that direction there's Portreath. That's about to where we started at Portreath Junction off what would have been the Hale Railway which ran from Hale towards Rudruth which was the original forerunner of what is today the Cornwall Main Line GWR. It wasn't then, it was to say it was just the Hale Railway and then the uh, West Cornwall Railway. But uh, yeah, this railway carried coal from the harbour there at Portreath and it served all the mines, providing fuel for the engines, all the steam engines that pumped water out of the mines when the miners were getting the tin and copper from the Camborne Redruth area. As the mines started to close down, of course, it meant the coal didn't need to be transferred anymore to serve the needs of the mine. And when it was closing down around 1930 already, Wheel Agar, which is now by what is today's Morrisons, and you can actually go around it because it is owned by the National Trust, that was already starting to run down. But as I say, it was used as that uh, tramway. I forgot to mention about that tramway. A lot of people don't realise there was a tramway. A lot of the big cities in the north and places like Bristol and Manchester and Birmingham had trams that ran through the streets. A lot of those started around the 1860s and ran, well some of them ran up to the 1950s. The one here closed in 1927, as I say, it ran between Camborne Pool and Redruth and uh, it had, was fed electrically and there is a power station for it, which you can see just on the edge of the high street of Redruth. I'll include a shot of that now. That was the uh, original power station for the tramway. Sadly closed now, of course. Um, but as I say, after it closed and was carrying passengers, they were using it to move tin waste up and down the former tramway tracks. And it was that. You had that crossing there by the railway in, in a Luggan Highway here in Cornwall. Hope you enjoyed this little railway adventure here on West Country Wanderings. Until next time, take care. All the best. Bye-bye.